Hi everyone and welcome. I'm Christina, 56 years old and um, I'm married to Kevin and I've got two grown-up daughters. I've got quite a few ideas for quite a few uh, videos that I'm looking at doing tutorials for. Um, firstly, skincare for mature skin and makeup tutorials. Uh, sewing tutorials, uh, I did two, 16 years in two sewing factories. The first one was for eight years and I um, they made clothing for Marks and Spencers. The second factory, which was another eight years, that made um, curtains and accessories. Now, I actually became a training instructor while working at the second factory. And then when I um, decided to start a family, I didn't go back after because I didn't want to work full time. I only wanted part time work once I'd got my young family. Uh, so I've always made clothes for my daughters and even now I make clothes for my daughters and myself and my husband and I've actually started making clothes for my youngest sister Claire who I'm close to. Um, I don't always work from a pattern. Sometimes I'll just take sizes and draft, draft it up and make it up. Now rock and roll. I love rock and roll. I've been born and raised on it because my dad was a teddy boy, my mum was a teddy girl. And she told me about these pair of jeans that she had that basically she wrote all over them the store's names. There was Cliff Richard on there, Eddie Cochran, Elvis. And Elvis, I'm a big fan of. And the first time, and I still remember it today, like today, like it was yesterday, uh, when I saw him for the first time and it was... Um, I'm the eldest daughter of five, so I was always allowed to stay up later than the rest of them. And it was a school night and it was nine o'clock when this film was due to start. It was a black and white movie and it was called King Creole. Now, the first time I saw Elvis in that film, it was wow. When he started singing Trouble, it was double wow. And from that moment on, I became a fan. Half past nine came and my mum says, right, come on, bed, Tina, it is a school night, to which I begged her to let me stop up longer. And my dad turned around and said, let her have another half hour. So I got to enjoy Elvis for another half an hour on the screen. And then 10 o'clock came and my dad said, right, come on, Tina, bed now, it is a school night. And I would try begging him to let me stop up and work and watch the rest of the film. No, it's 10 o'clock, it's a school night, bed now. There was no there was no getting around it then. It was bedtime. So I remember marching up to stairs to bed thinking, Elvis Presley, Elvis Presley, please don't forget his name, Elvis Presley. So from that night onwards, at being nine years old, I've been a fan ever since. I did get to go to Graceland when I was 50 with my youngest sister, Claire, who's always, an El who always, she's always been an Elvis fan as well. And we did the nine day tour which consisted of um, New Orleans, uh, Tupelo, Memphis, Nashville and Chattanooga. Though Chattanooga, there's nothing there. Um, and we spent two and a half hours actually in the house at Graceland. And then when we come out, after we'd done the graveside, I'd said to my sister, I'm just going to go and ask her just to look at his living room again. She said, they'll not let you in. We've been in. I went, I'm just going to ask. Anyway, I asked this um, lady on the door. I said, is it okay if I just come in and look at his living room again? I said, because we're taking photographs or anything. You don't take it all in. Sure, ma'am, come on in. And the first thing I did when I got in was ask her to take a photograph of me. Stood inside his front door with his door behind me, which she did. And then I literally stood there for 20 minutes just looking and taking in his living room. It was beautiful. Some areas of the house have to be, mm, but his living room and dining room were stunning. It was a shame we couldn't go upstairs, but that's out of bounds. But then what I'm, go what I'm going to put out there to people who's looking at going to do the Graceland tour at some point... We didn't have enough time to do the Hawaiian Museum. We did all the others, we did the aeroplanes, um, but we ran out of time because the coach was going back at whatever time it was, five o'clock, half past five. And I said to my sister that night, why didn't we get a taxi back? 
why didn't we taxi back and just take us time? Because the last tour in Graceland at the time was off past six. I wasn't sure if it shut at off eight or nine o'clock. So the rest of the shops and the things are going to be up until the same time. So if you are going to do, looking at doing the tour, if you're going on the court trip, go on the court trip, but then taxi back to your hotel because it's not far. Then take your time, enjoy it, savour every moment. Because we did, but we just didn't have quite long enough. So, yeah, so going back to um, what I'm planning on doing with my tutorials. Um, like where, where, where with me when I love rock and roll. So I've made, I've made every one of my petticoats uh, underneath skirts and fully enjoyed it. In fact, the first one I made, I would be about 18, nine years old. And the net that I used, and, and I put lace on the edge of every, it was four, four layers, two tiers. And there was lace around every one. I think I, I think I bought, Thirty-two meters of lace to go round it all, but the fullness when it was new and crisp netting, loved it. So I've always loved making my own petticoat in beautiful colours, uh, and I've started making dresses. Um, my daughters and one of my daughters' boyfriends they've actually got me two Gertie books. And I must admit, some of the patterns, um, because it's not very often I do a draft. I don't have time to do a draft and then make it up again. I want to just get in there, make it up, wear it and enjoy it. And some of the patterns where you've got to really alter the patterns. No. So... Um, the recent makes that I've made have been some hoodies and they've been the Tilly ones. Now I bought the pattern in a charity shop for a pound and my mother-in-law had sent me a big bag of fleece down probably months ago. And then it must have been a few weeks after I'd had the pattern and I thought, hmm, let me see what's in that bag of fleeces. And when I did it, there was three colours. There was a navy, a red and a black. And I thought they were going to be like small pieces. When I went in the bag, there must have been four metres of one, five metres of one, six metres of one. And basically I got five hoodies from the fleece. Now there wasn't instructions in this Tilly pattern because basically you have to buy the book for the instructions. So basically I went on YouTube, watched a couple of people that had done the Tilly hoodie and it didn't, I didn't get the full instructions, but it's such an easy pattern that I did work out how to do it. But then when I said to my daughters, uh, what colour hoodies would you like from the colours I got? My eldest loves black. It's a favourite colour. And she'd said to me, can you sort of doctor the pattern and make it look edgy? And she sent me a photograph of a hoodie that was for sale on ASOS where the back was longer than the, than the front. There was no cuffs on, there was no edging on, it was just a raw edge. Um, to which I did this for her in black and then there was enough fabric to do her a, um, a navy one. So she had two, my youngest daughter had two. I did myself a, a red one and I put two black stripes in the arms to make it look a bit rockabilly. I lined the hood in black, again, contrasting to the red. And then I put a black um, shoelace through as the tie. And it is so warm and comfortable. Oh, and I also ordered an Elvis badge, which is in a black heart with Elvis wrote across it, which I've stitched here. And I actually went into a shop last week to which a woman actually said, I love your Elvis jumper. Then when I told her I made it, she goes, can you do me one? <laughs> Anyways, so that's been my last sewing project. Because there was easy to do, I think I did three one day to another, but then my husband said he'd like one. So I'd run out of uh, fleece at this point. So I actually went up to uh, Walton's at Goldthorpe, uh, bought two metres and made him one and had it as a little birthday present for him. 
literally made it a couple of days before his birthday because I'd been ill the previous week and half, so I just wasn't well enough to do it. So, um, yeah, I enjoy sewing. I get a lot of pleasure out of making clothes for my girls uh, and seeing them wear them and enjoy them. And I enjoy making myself things um, and knowing when I go out, nobody, nobody is going to be wearing what I'm wearing. And I have done some contraptions over the years. I mean, I remember when I was courting Kevin, my husband, when we were courting, and his mother had given me some, um, it was black fabric with gold, little gold circles. And I, I said to him one night in his bedroom, right, we're going to design a dress tonight and then cut it out. And he basically went, what? <laughs> So this dress, I did a sweetheart neck, it had chiffon sleeves, and then down the sides, I did like a pleated chiffon strip, which I'd basically it went all down the sides of the dress. And it was, I got a figure then in them days, and it was lovely. And I used to go out on a Saturday night wearing it. And like I said, nobody else would have the same thing on. So yeah, so just to recap, on uh, the tutorials I'm going to be doing. Mature skin, facials, makeup. Plenty of sewing tutorials on lots of different things. Uh, and also on your machines. Some people might not know what to use the stitching for. So I'm planning on doing a, a video on showing you how to use some of the stitches on your machine. And getting the best out of your machine. Um, and then other tutorials. If anybody wants to see anything in particular that's always an option so this is me Christina Gelder I'm going to be known as Tina Bambina that's going to be my name for my YouTube channel um, where did that come from I hear you ask well when my daughters were younger I don't know how young they'd be I think they'd be about eight and ten seven and nine they made up a song about me and um, which part of it was Tina T -t -t Tina Bambina, we love T -t Tina, T -t Tina Bambina. So it's sort of, I have labels now for when I make them clothes and make myself clothes and I put them in, in, you know, it's like a little professional finish to it. And that's where Tina Bambina comes from. Uh, so if you'd like to see some of my uh, videos that I'm going to be making in the future, please subscribe, stay tuned. Take care, bye for now and hopefully see you soon.